I think this conference is a great conference. Uh, it has all the key opinion leaders in infection control across the globe. I think it's an opportunity to uh, look at what's new in the field of infection control. Uh, try to bring all these new ideas back home. It's been a unique phenomena and uh, it's a very, very different conference. I've been to a lot of conferences before. Uh, this one is very special. It's an excellent opportunity of networking, meeting old friends and also exchanging best practices with all kinds of people here from the various countries. To listen to others, to exchange best practices, to learn, to gain new knowledge, to share experiences. Such were the objectives of the first International Conference on Prevention and Infection Control in 2011. This meeting will take place for the second time on the 25th to the 28th of June at the Geneva International Conference Centre. There's truly a need for a, a, a fully international global meeting of all people in infection control that is really aiming not only at the best, uh, best research but also the best practices. And none of the existing meetings really had that. They're either not fully international or they're only at research or at practices. So we believe that we had a niche to go into. At any point in time, some 1.4 million people suffer from an infection acquired during their hospital stay. It's something that decision makers and the general public are not always aware of, but which is central to the testimony presented and to the discussions at this international conference. You know, we carry 100 trillion bacteria on us. So when we go into a hospital, there's a possibility of 100 trillion bacteria going somewhere, not quite, but more or less. And so therefore, this link between the community, the environment and, our, and hospitals is actually very important and we shouldn't forget it. It is a neglected problem yet, and we need to establish the importance of this problem in order to raise awareness among um, administrators, politicians and healthcare workers uh, to motivate them to improve. Reducing healthcare-associated infection is a major issue. All it takes to overcome the problem is a simple gesture, or actually five basic gestures, to ensure safer and more reliable healthcare. During the first conference in 2011, more than 1,200 experts from 86 countries offered their full support to the campaign led by the World Health Organization. Today, over 15,000 hospitals and health institutions in 169 countries around the world have registered for this program to promote hand hygiene. Among them is the University of Geneva Hospitals, a global leader in hand hygiene. This medical center works closely with the World Health Organization and also organizes the second international conference on prevention and infection control. I think that this mission is to meet, is to share, is to compare, to innovate, to exchange each other, and also to embark each other in some sort of solidarity, a movement of solidarity that put everybody together so that we share our experience, we share our vision, we share our perspective, and we also share our resources. How to control infection, how to implement suitable strategies to combat new viruses, how to assess the socio-economic impact of healthcare-associated infection. All these topics and many more will be the focus of debates taking place on the 25th to the 28th of June in Geneva.